In this presentation we're going to look at the London Olympics and study the question how well is the seven judge system working? You'll recall that for the last two years seven judges have officiated at major championships and at various high profile events. So we can pose the question how effective has this been? What about a proposal such as using the closest five of seven judges? Um, um, those proposals have been put forward and either just uh, for example taking the closest five at final score level or figure by figure taking the closest five for every figure. What effect would that have? So here's a table that summarizes the top 10 riders in the Grand Prix at London. You see their final score and their final rank as given by the overall average of the seven judges. In the next two columns we show um, the effect of just using the five traditional judges, those are E, H, C, M and B. And in blue you see where there have been small rank changes. In the following two columns we investigate the idea of using five closest judges by final score. Again, um, just in the middle of the field a small changing in the rank. Um, and finally, on the right hand side we look at the more exotic formula of going through figure by figure, dropping the top and bottom lowest score and calculating uh, a final score in this way. Um, actually, quite interestingly, that uh, makes no rank changes at the top, uh, in the top nine places. The first rank change occurs in the tenth place. Let's look at those in a bit more detail. First of all, if we have seven judges and we consider all the riders in the Olympic Grand Prix and the Grand Prix Special, the standard deviation, the sort of the spread between the seven judges, had an average value of 1.35%. I should mention that that's an extremely good average value of standard deviation. In most CDI competitions that number is closer to 1.6%. Um, from basic mathematics and statistics if you know that the per judge standard deviation is 1.35% you can tell what the final position of the scores was. It's actually just the 1.35 divided by the square root of the number of judges. So that's a half a percent. So half a percent is the precision of the score in the Grand Prix and the Grand Prix Special. This means that scores that are closer than this become less and less distinguishable and the ranking becomes less and less certain when riders are really within a half a percent of each other. So let's go back now and look at the case where we had the five judges at E, H, C, M and B. I've just expanded that piece of table on the left hand side. In this case the standard deviation between these five judges is 1.31%. Um, that sounds better, of course we've actually just happened to pick a slightly random a different choice of, of, of judges, but that means because there are only five judges present the final position is still only 0.6%. So seven judges have improved the provision of the precision of the scoring from about 0.6% to 0.5%. Inevitably when the scores become closer than this some changes of rank will occur and that's what you see in the table on the side. What about the idea of using the five closest judges in the final score? It's a little bit more difficult now to um, to calculate uh, easily the standard deviation of those judges but what we looked at is the difference between the seven judges and the five judges um, and that difference has a standard deviation of 0.17% so going from seven judges to five judges introduces a, a smearing of 0.17 percent in the final scores. Using the five closest judges of course inevitably must reduce the standard deviation between the judges. These are the closest judges by definition which means that the spread will be smaller. But we see it also introduces this difference of 0.17 percent compared to the seven judges. And to be honest it's not obvious how to determine which is the more correct. There's the idea that has been going around of dropping the top and bottom scores figure by figure. I've heard this many times. Um, in this case, the standard deviation between this, this method of scoring and the seven judges of the scores is 0.15%, a little bit better than the previous one. It doesn't seem to introduce significant rank changes. In fact, 16 riders in the Grand Prix would have had a small one or two place rank change if we had used this some of them would have gone up, some of them would have gone down. 
the largest score change using this figure by figure uh, removal of scores would have been uh, one rider who would have gone down by 0.31 percent remember we're talking still about it going down by less than the precision of our final score um, when you look in detail at this rider you see that this was actually due to the removal of the judge actually it's a different judge for each of the figures concerned who went uh, somewhat higher than their colleagues so here is a rider who um, at various times during their ride individual judges went somewhat higher than their colleagues by removing the top and bottom score that higher score was taken away um, I find it difficult to believe that that's what anybody wants to remove the judge who sees a little bit more in the figure so if we think about dropping scores a bit more in the Grand Prix, two scores would have gone down by more than a quarter of a percent. Five scores would have gone up by more than a quarter of a percent. And as I said, none of them changed by more than 0.31%. Um, I think the only way to resolve in detail what would have been more correct to do would be that experts would need to study those rides to weigh the chances that a better score might have been given if the scores had been dropped. Of course, sometimes removing the top or bottom score figure by figure will remove the one judge that likes or does not like what they saw and your score will go up or down significantly. Personally, I think it's safer to have the best trained judges we can have, to measure them and to give them feedback and to let all their scores count. But that's just a personal opinion. We can also look at the freestyle. We saw that in the Grand Prix and the Grand Prix Special the final score standard deviation between the judges was 1.3% in the freestyle it's 1.5 percent um, we can look separately at the technical points and the artistic points and the technical points the standard deviation is 1.6 percent and the artistic points are 2.1 percent not surprisingly given the smaller number of items that are part of the artistic points the artistic notes have the biggest spread however what is a little surprising is that if the artistic and technical note scores were actually independent numbers mathematically we would expect a final position of 1.9 percent the fact that we actually measure 1.5 percent better than we would predict indicates that actually judges are compensating between the two scores and they're doing somewhat better than either separate component would lead us to expect in forming the final score so how many judges should we have normally judges do not agree as well as these seven judges did a standard deviation of 1.6% is more usual. First basic rule is the more judges the better. Um, at top level the difference between going from 5 judges to 7 judges is a 15% improvement in precision. Um, 3 judges already are much better than 1 judge. 3% give us a 42% improvement in precision. In addition when you have a smaller number of judges there's a bigger risk that one judge's uh, absolute scoring difference um, will have a bigger influence on the final scores. If a judge always judges a few percent higher or lower than their colleagues and they're one of seven judges it washes out uh, largely. If there's one of uh, one judge it has a big effect on the final scores. Uh, which makes me pose the question um, why do we inflict single member juries on our beginner riders? Uh, to my mind the risk of discouragement into that scenario is very high and we should do our very best to put larger juries even two judges or three judges uh, across the board for dressage competitions